What's going on guys, welcome back. Today we are going to create a Reddit bot. So the way we are going to do this is we're hooking up a Python script to a Reddit API. So here is what our script is going to look like here. So this is what we're gonna end up with when we're finished here. And what does, so the question comes, what does a bot do? What is a Reddit bot? A Reddit bot is essentially just an, a, uh, something that will respond automatically to users posts or post things automatically at certain points of the day and this could depend on what content um, some users post so it's looking for certain key phrases and it can also depend on various subreddits what their content limits are and what you p can post on those subreddits so what is our bot this uh, our bot is one that will uh, post the definitions for certain words when users query it so i'll show you guys how it works here <clears throat> so you can go ahead it only runs on our words so you can specify what subreddits you want your bot to work on but in this case we're going to say the way you use it is you do exclamation point word bot and then you put whatever word you want the definition for um, so we'll go ahead and we'll say python all right, so we go ahead and now we query the bot. So it should post the definition for Python in just a moment here. So let's go ahead and see. And okay, so word bot Python waiting on that response there it is all right so we got our word bot came back to us and it said uh gave us the word python and then the definition so large old world boas okay so now let's go ahead and review our uh script so we can talk about how you can create your own reddit bot so as far as modules that you want to use the big module is called pra so that stands for python reddit api wrapper and what that is going to allow you to do is log into the reddit api which is again an application programming interface for interacting directly with the back end of a website without having to use the um the user interface that it hosts on its own website for you to use um, so that's what that's going to do and next up so the way we do that here is we import pra uh, these other two modules the dictionary and enchant those are specific to this bot so I'm I won't talk about that too much but anyways so you import pra here and you go ahead and you create a reddit variable and that a variable you assign to pra dot reddit and then it's going to pass you pass it five different parameters so this is creating our instance of the reddit class of the pra reddit class which will allow us to interact with different subreddits to post different content and to do everything that we want to do uh, on reddit so we have our client id so what this is is a string and uh, of numbers and letters that makes up the way that you are going to uh, connect to the api so first thing you guys want to do right now if you're making this is go ahead and create a new reddit account and once you've created that reddit account you want to go ahead over here to uh, www.reddit.com backslash preps backslash apps so this is where we are going to go ahead and create our our test script so you can see here i went ahead and i created a test one but we'll i'll walk through how we do that here so again you put the name of your um of your bot or the name of your script here so again i'm just going to say uh test test bot is the name okay and then you put the whether it's a web app an installed app or a script so in this case we want to use script and then you can go ahead and put a description of your bot so whatever your bot is going to do on reddit go ahead and leave that description here and in this case we'll just put uh test bot does nothing okay so next up here we have a url so this is going to be um whatever url or website you want your bot to be corresponded with if you don't have one go ahead and just put https uh, colon backslash backslash www.nowebsite.com all right and once you got that you hit create app so what this is doing right here is it is giving you a personal use script id so what this is going to be is right here so your client id is going to equal this right here so you go ahead and just copy and paste that right in next up we have our secret so what this client secret is is the is going to go right here you just copy and paste that in and then this is the id and the secret for accessing the api so once you have those copy and pasted in then you want to go ahead and put your next 
exact parameter as the username. So that'll be the username for the account you just created and then the password for the account you created right after that. Um, following that, you have this user agent parameter. You can more or less put whatever you want in here. Um, I went and put WordBot by my username, but you guys can do that or do whatever you want to put in there. You can put the same name of your bot or whatever you want to do. So next up here we have the subreddit variable and this is where you're going to list the subreddits that you want your bot to interact with or to live on. So when you have your, your incoming stream of comments, your incoming stream of submissions, um, on Reddit, you can, and you want if you want to interact with those, you want to list the subreddits that your bot is going to be active on here. So we're creating a subreddit variable, and we're saying that this subreddit variable is is going to be Reddit dot subreddit. So we're accessing the dot subreddit um, the dot subreddit attribute or um, option from within the pro dot reddit object that we created and we are passing it the parameter words so this is going to be how we interact with those subreddits now you can put a list here as well it doesn't have to be just one subreddit so if you want to do that there's ways to put in I'll, I'm gonna link to the to the pro documentation because the syntax might be a little bit different but it's still very easy. You just do Reddit dot so, uh, multi Reddit or something like that, or subreddit, and then you put the the list of subreddits you want to interact with. So then, if you are going to say check for a certain comment in your comment stream as it comes in from all those different um, from all those different subreddits, then you would go ahead and just loop. So say for subreddit in subreddit list, um, look for blah 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 in your list. Okay. So next up here, this is the key phrase. So if you are having your bot interact with the community and you want your bot to be kind of called upon with a certain phrase, this is what this is how you would do that. So in this case, we have key phrase equals uh, exclamation point word bot because when people use this bot, I want them to have to specify exclamation point word bot, and that's what my bot is looking for to know to come to that or comment and respond. So next up here we have. Um, a couple objects, these are just for the dictionary specific um, or specific to the dictionary. So in this case, we have dictionary equals pi dictionary and d equals enchant, enchant dot, uh, dict. So what that is doing is creating those objects to um, interact with. Next up here, we have again, I'm just glazing over this quickly because I know you guys might want to are going to be more creative with your bots and maybe do a bunch of different things with them. So we've got um, this next function is just is word that'll check if the word is really a word within the dictionary. So next up, this is the uh, the important part here that you guys want to pay attention to. So we've got for uh, comment in subreddit.stream.comments. So we're assigning the variable comment to represent every comment that comes in through the stream. So, so every comment that comes to the subreddit words is going to pass through, the bot is going to look at it, and it's going to see if the key phrase is in that comment, okay? So we're saying, so for the comments in the subreddit.stream.comments, now you can also change Change this. Um, you could be subreddit dot, or it could be subreddit dot streams or dot stream dot submissions. So that would uh, look only at the the headlines or the titles of the new threads or the new submissions that are coming into those subreddits. So next up here, we're saying if the key phrase is in the comment body. So this is like saying. Um, so if if this key phrase up here that we specified, this exclamation point word bot, if that is in the comment body then it is going to go ahead and try its response okay so we've you can do whatever key phrase you want specify that to be whatever <clears throat> whatever way you want people to interact with your bot or activate your bot there and then make sure you have comment dot body okay because if you don't it's just going to return the the id number of the comment and then that's not going to be helpful to us for parsing for looking for our, how we want to respond or what we want to respond to so next up here, this is we're going to try um, is word word. So what that is doing is checking if it's going to call the is word function, passing it the word parameter that we got from our uh, from our from our. Uh, from the comment that we are looking for, and if it, if that word is a word, then it's, this will be true. So it'll be if true. We're going to go ahead and check to get the meaning of the word, and then this is just some syntax here for extracting the definition from the dictionary um, data type that that the diction that the uh, definition is held in, and then we're going to go ahead and reply to that word okay so this is how you do that you say comment dot reply so once we have our comment variable representing the current comment that has the word in it that we want to get the definition for again we're going to check for that if that's really uh, if there really is a definition for that word and then we're going to say comment dot reply 
uh, with the string passed that we want to reply with. So in this case, it's reach, it's um, what I passed. It was a string for the meaning of the word, and then it just has the word uh, itself as well. So, and then I print out posted to the script so I can see to the script um, how often or when the script is posting. So, uh, otherwise, if the word is not a word, it just says this is not a word. And again, we have comment dot reply, passing reply as a parameter in order to do that. And there we go. So, finally, um, fi yeah, finally, we'll talk about this quickly. So, the try accept syntax, what that is doing is if there's a potential for an error to be thrown in the operation that you're doing, you want to use this syntax in order to um, in order to move around that or can so that error won't break your script. So here we're saying again, it's trying to post if it finds that keyword in the um, in the comment and then if it doesn't then it will just throw this exception i'll print out uh too frequent to my script and it won't break our script it'll just continue to try finding um or to, it'll just continue searching to the comment stream so that is more or less how you create a reddit bot again there are, you can do a hundred different things with this you can post different things to different subreddits at different times you can respond to users interact with users um, a lot of different things, a lot of ways that you can take this and create pretty cool things with it. So again, I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this video. Uh, go ahead and leave any comments or questions below. If you need any help getting this set up or get stuck at any point, I'm happy to help you guys out. And um, if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.